Slow mornings are a reverence of childhood. That is called an American alligator. My oldest son is our pet keeper, but he often recruits his siblings for help. Uh, he's in charge of cleaning our pets and their enclosures, tracking health and growth. He also creates spreadsheets and keeps log of their food and any other supplies needed for their habitats. Outdoor time is a must every day for our family. Outdoor time for us is usually after lunch and once all responsibilities and chores have been done. to live just a mile away to the closest body of the Gulf water. We often head to this little secret spot that is perfect. It's secluded and quiet. It's a big space to set up hammocks and tents and set roots for a few hours. The kids can swim, our pup is free to explore, and some of us enjoy a good book. shrubs respond to these Morse code like signals, each species with its own distinctive flash pattern. We're wrapping up a bird unit study and a few days ago we made bird feeders, so Luna is very happy about putting these up. favorite outdoor pastimes are scavenger hunts. We look for dens and nests and habitats. The kids also enjoy identifying plants and flowers and mushrooms. If we're 
are set in one spot for a good while, Bella also enjoys when I create activity problems in the sand. Most of it is just for review. So five plus three, three acorns is, is eight. to do further research or some sort of activity uh, once we're back home to correlate with something we've experienced outdoors. son has started a fishing journal and also learning life skills uh, like preparing and cooking his catch of the day. As you might tell by the lighting here it is now early evening and the last lesson of the day before bedtime routines is a life skills lesson on left and right. Mm -hmm. 